Welcome back to Mobile Tech World, and today I'm going to give you a quick short look at connectables for Windows Phone 7. So this is this week's Xbox Live Enable Game for the platform. And here you have it running on the HTC Titan and the, and the Samsung Armada 7. Don't pay too much attention to the screen brightness. Don't have the same technology. So here we go. Here we have the main menu, so this is a trial version. You can go into the options and see what we have here. You have some instructions on how to play the game. So have some settings, the volume. So let's launch the game both handsets you can choose your cub you only have one available in the try version so here you have it running on the titan and i don't know if you notice this but uh, the frame rate is a lot smoother on the htc titan thanks to the adreno 205 gpu and it's a little bit choppy and we are definitely below 25 frames per second on the Samsung Omnia 7. So this is a trend that started not long ago with some of the latest games being released that are running faster on the new Mango devices compared to the first generation. So here you have it running on both handsets. A lot smoother right here below. But I don't know if it shows up in the video so you have different ways to play it as you can see the cup follows my finger so let's try the trick mode so I can make him jump or sit down. That's a little bit tricky to master at first. So let's try something else. Here we go. Real nice physics on the rope. Whoop. So I'm gonna try to play on both devices at the same time. So let's try to play it on the HTC Titan. So we have to make him jump as long as possible. So it's a really cute game for kids. And you have some nice integration with the Kinect version on Xbox 360. Using your handset, you can simply go back. And hit Xbox transfer and you can transfer your cub to the Xbox 360 version of the game using the Kinect camera you will have a QR code on the device that you have to point out to the Kinect camera and it transfer your cup to your home, your home console so let's go back into the game so as you can see it's really smooth on the HTC Titan a really nice looking game great graphics nice animation but really it's a kids game so you know if you're old like me you won't really have or find much value in it unless you have kids and you you have the connect version at home it's two dollars ninety nine on the marketplace right now and uh, there's one thing that I didn't expect is that the game is not mango compatible so if I go back there is no 
fast application switching. It will reload the, the, the application from the start so it's not officially Mango compatible. And because of this, you also don't have uh, any augmented reality feature, uh, which is quite a bit of a disappointment, especially for a supposedly connect uh, game. So let's do this, do this, and I'll show you the camera feature. Here we go. So given that this is not a Mango application, when you take your photo, it will actually launch the native camera application. So I'm going to take a picture of the Omnia 7, accept it, and all you can do is simply drag that poor little tiger on here. You can also change his animation position. It's a little, really, really nice looking stuff, but it would have been better if it was actually a real-time augmented reality uh, feature. So hopefully this will be updated in the future version. And here you can snap the picture and it will be saved in your uh, on your device. So this was a quick look at Connectimals on Windows Phone 7. It's a really nice looking game if you have kids. And just one thing to note is that it runs a lot better on a new generation devices than on a first generation handsets. So you can catch my mobiletechworld.com or subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube at MobileTechWorld TV. Thanks for watching.